I've decided to give the detecting a bit of a rest today and I'm going to go and try and find some treasures out there. A little bit of trash, a little bit of treasure. Let's see what we can find. I've come across something really interesting. Maybe not to everybody, but to the keen eye, you might find something a little special. Now, I don't know if you can see this, but there's a line of trees that just go this way, up and down, okay? And yet there's nothing over here, okay? Going, turning around the opposite direction, the line of trees goes this way. Now, this was once a train line. Yes, 120 years ago, the woodcutters used to come along here and dig up uh, or cut down the trees for the, to line the mines and so forth. Now, how do I know this? Well, if you have a look on the ground here, look at this. Okay, that's part of an old railway peg. Now, there's enough junk around here to associate it with the old wood lines. Uh, it, it's a bit of a no-brainer. Now, I like these spots because uh, what they used to do is they used to throw their old beer bottles over the side. And uh, if you walk along some of these wood lines, you will find a lot of trash. Here is this, some over here, look. But you will also find some treasures. And that's what I'm uh, hoping to do today. The... Uh, the outback never ceases to amaze me. Anyway, now when I say trash and treasure, this is what I'm talking about. This bottle down here, probably been here for a hundred years, hasn't been touched. And uh, they would have discarded it off the side of the, uh, the train line. So, uh, that is a treasure for me. That is just a wonderful piece of history. And that's going on my wall of collection of bottles. Hopefully I'll have a hundred green bottles soon. Very good. Well, here's some more evidence of uh, an old train line. Here you can see, quite clearly, a, a railway peg. Now, I'm finding a lot of these because I'm just following the old train line. Uh, how do I know it's an old train line? Well, let's have a bit of a look. I don't know if you can see this, but this is where the, I'm walking on top of the railway now. Now, you should be hard pressed to see these are where the sleepers were. There's one that was there, another one that was there, and so on and so on. Now, to the untrained eye, it doesn't look like anything. It could be quite invisible, but uh, it's definitely an old wood line. And now I'm going to continue my search for treasure. I've come across some more evidence that the, the woodcutters were around the place here. Every once in a while I come across something like this. As you can see, yeah, it's an old axe. Ah! So it's obviously been discarded at some stage in the past. Um, I've got a few of these now, I'm not sure if I'll take this one back with me. Um, yeah, great sign, bit of old Australian history out in the goldfields. Yeah, this is the sort of stuff that really, really gives, you know, gives us weird people some excitement. Yeah, a good indication is to look for bits of rust and you can see there's a couple of cans here and there and if you have a good scour around voila that is wonderful check this one out let's see oh uh, yeah nice looking little rum bottle of some sort and on the bottom it says what does it say P. Dawson, oh, I don't know, Dufftown, Glen Livet. Something worth Googling. Okay, that's going in the backpack. Of course, it's inevitable you're going to come across ones with the tops broken off. As you can see, they um, just broke them off to. Uh, get to the grog inside. 
But every once in a while, you know what, you come across a campsite and then there's, yeah, that one's got a broken top too. There's bottles like this lying all over the place. It's just a shame they're um, damaged, so they're not, uh, not worth keeping. I'll leave these relics for another hunting person over the years. And uh, as you can see, there's a fair bit of junk here. There's another old bottle over here. Lots of old tins. It looks like this is where they've pulled up stumps for uh, for the evening, or for whatever reason, and um, made a camp. So I'm going to start scouring. These things are really cool too. It's an old pickle jar. And it's in one piece, which is really good. Nothing on it, unfortunately, but no embossing. But one for the bag. And I've just spotted this in the grass. There we go. Another rim, rum bottle in one piece. Fantastic. I'm having a really good day. The things that you find. So these old woodcutters, they left a fair bit of rubbish around, and uh, horseshoes, another one over there, and over here I think there might have been some sort of blacksmith's shop, which is some really cool metal stuff there. Another horseshoe here, all goes to show, these guys left more trash than the people leaving wood stock, but their trash it's a bit of a treasure for me. So you can have a look. This is pretty cool. Let's have a bit of a look. I don't even know what half this stuff is. That's an old part of a horseshoe. Big lump of steel. Horseshoe. Obviously chains. They use a lot of chains when they're hooking up the, the firewood together. Well, not the firewood, but the posts they needed for the insides of the mines. I'm just going to move some of this out of the way. Yeah, there's more... More metallic stuff in there, chains. I don't even know what that is. It's cool though. Australian history. This looks like a Clydesdale shoe. It's pretty big. Um, well, maybe that'll bring me some good luck on the gold. Yeah, quite fun. A bit of a wire junction, a bit of wood, and over here is a flat piece of wood, and over here is another wire junction. Now, of course, that's telling me that this here was somebody's campsite. They put their canvas over the top and make a tent. Now, the train line's just there, and I'm finding bottles and residue and all sorts of things. It's really good. Okay, keep hunting. A couple of little bottles, unfortunately. This one's no good. The purple colour is from the manganese. I believe when that gets into the sun it goes purple. This one, let's have a look. Oh, it's in one nick, in one piece. That means it's in really good nick. I don't know what it is. But that's a good little keeper. I have no idea. It's probably one of these medicine bottle models, you know, arsenic, cyanide, that sort of thing. Cocaine, you know, that sort of stuff. But I'm not sure. So I'll check that out. It's got some writing on it. I'll check that out later when I can get into Google range. Okay. Well, I know it doesn't look like much, but that is an old campfire. And it's probably as old as these cans. You can see there's the ash from the, from the old fire. Well here I am back at the van after a really big day out 
and I've got to say, I'm pretty impressed with what I found and what I learned too. Uh, I'll show you the finds. Well, here we go. Look at all that. That's all the bottles I found, and I couldn't carry any more. I had a couple of the old coil tech bags here that uh, I can freight them in with on front back and backpack. So I did pretty well. My favourite couple are these two. Now this one here I think is just some sort of old medicine bottle or a, or a fruit salts of some sort. I don't know, there's no markings, no embossing. This one here is probably some sort of uh, headache sauce bottle. There is a, uh, a embossing on the bottom. It's got A, M, B and S, Perth. So I'll do a bit of Googling when I can, find out what that was. Um, some other favourites in here. Let's have a look. I like the, uh, the pickle jar. That's always a winner. I love them. Finding them in one piece is pretty, pretty good. Um, the hock, hock bottles, beer bottles, what else we got? Oh, the rum, the rum bottle, that was awesome find. Uh, Eno's fruit salts, now that's in every bottle collector's collection. Uh, it's embossed, Eno's fruit salts, really good to find them in one piece, I'm loving that. And now I've got to pack it all up, make sure it makes it back to Kalgoorlie in one piece. Thanks guys. Well, you can see the line of trees from the old tram line, train line, which was for the woodcutters. It's difficult to find, but I'll try and point it out. There it is here. So you can see, if you're really, really, really keen, you can see that line. Okay. And that is the evidence of an old train line. Well, sun's going down. It's been quite a successful day for me, if you if you don't mind picking up bottles and axe heads and things like that. Uh, hopefully get back onto the gold again tomorrow. Okay, hope you've enjoyed this.